YouTube, Mr. Dodo8449 here. Um, yes, this is the first video in my little series on. Bum, bum, bum. It's a micro layout. <laughs> I won't hold you in suspense anymore. Yep, that is what I decided to do. I've got a little bit of room. Um, I've got a little bit of time, so I thought, you know what I'll do? I'll build a micro layout. Uh, if people who don't know what a micro layout is, you, in effect, have three types of layouts. Well, four, I suppose. You've got your complete loop layout, which is what most people um, have, so they can run a train continuously. We have your end-to-end -end layout, otherwise known as a shelf layout, which is often used by exhibitors um, for like exhibitions layouts and so on you have um, diorama layouts which is something quite small amazing detail but you don't really run trains on it you more leave your locos on there and take photos and then you've got micro layout which is something between a diorama and a shelf layout so because it's micro layout I'm going to do it in engage um, I recently well recently is the wrong word um, I've moved from double O to engage purely because of the amount of space it takes up um, if I had enough room I would go back to double O gauge um, but that's stuff happening elsewhere in the future potentially and so on so it is a an engage micro layout now I'm going to go on to SCARM there it is um, simple computed aided railway modeler or something it's absolutely free to download and it's absolutely amazing considering it's free you can design your layout plans you can make baseboards you can add scenery in okay you can't really add buildings and trees and stuff but you can get rough outlines of the shape of these of the uh, buildings and so on that you want to add so this is the layout which i'm planning on making the uh, baseboard is 900 by 92 by 10 mil I believe it is it's just a piece of solid plywood which you'll see in a minute um, and I'll explain more about it when I go through that so I'll just talk about the track plans that we're really looking at here so what we've got here is the track plan I'm going to be doing is this bottom one and then this is the other option I had um, but I'll just run through briefly through the story of this um, this bottom line is the original layout uh, the original track sorry and then one day um, in all the bad weather and the floods and so on the river swelled and caused this old bridge to basically get destroyed the company um, got their engineers out or whatever and they assessed the damage and decided it would be cheaper and easier to rebuild a new bridge um, to rebuild the wrong word to build a new bridge and then to take the track around it which is what you can see by having the point about halfway down the layout and then the track goes up and over the top so that is the actual running loop and then if I bring the camera down you can see the collapsed bridge just here oh press the right key it might work there we go so you can see the collapsed bridge just here over the river now I've got quite a few good ideas in my head for that but we just have to see how that goes so <clears throat> excuse me down at this end of the layout is what we're going to do. This is not a point. It just looks like a point because of how the track sits on top of each other. Um, this is actually going to be a cut piece of track. So um, on the left hand side of the broken bridge, there'll be a buffer stop and there'll be about six inches of track. On the right hand side, there is going to be cut track that nothing can access. Um, so the locos will actually just follow the top track of those two you can see there over the point and then carry on now well I am planning on being as realistic scenery wise as possible I've been watching loads of videos uh, loads of websites and so on trying to get hints and tips of how to make your scenery look very realistic so I've got a good idea what I'm going to do I'm going to run through it step by step so you can see what I'm doing and hopefully that will give you some good tips for making realistic scenery um, I want this to look as I said as realistic as possible so um, hopefully by the end of it I'll be able to use this as kind of a diorama but it will also be designed such that if you connect a controller to the track you can also run a train forward and backwards over it um, so it'll be a bit of best of both worlds so anyway that's just a quick introduction to the layout uh, my next video I will show you the work that I've done so far oh excuse the message I'll show you the work which I've done so far on it and the stage that I'm currently up to so thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon bye for now